get up every morning. Was that terrible? You don't have to do that every day? Uh, it wasn't terrible. Um, now that, you know, uh, it, it made me a better person today. And, um, you know, back then, uh, you know, I was, I used to complain about it a little bit because uh, I didn't really see myself taking that route. But, um, you know, I did what I had to do to, you know, get to where I'm at today. And, um, you know, just thankful for the opportunity. Did you and Dot have to wake each other up to make sure you didn't get in trouble? Yeah, sometimes we did, but uh, most of the time, it was, you know, we had a bell that rung, you know, every morning. So that, that pretty much woke us up. There's a lot of good guards uh, in 2016 uh, like yourself who are around six feet. And I was wondering if that's kind of a thing that you've ever seen as either an advantage for yourself or an obstacle you've had to overcome. Anything that's influenced you kind of emotionally? Um, well, you know, I really usually don't pay attention to the height, you know. Uh, I pay attention to what we can control as a team, you know, as a group. So, you know, I just focusing on scouting report, I pay attention to details, and, you know, uh, just believe in my teammates and coaching staffs, and, you know, go out and play a possession like it's our last, and uh, do everything, you know, to give us the best chance to be successful. When, when you're watching scouting reports, and you see, you know, how the other team guards people who play your position guard, um, do you ever think, hey, like, I can leverage my my dimensions in a certain way or is it more just team Yeah, you know, uh, once we watch watch a uh, tape, you know, we get a good feel of, uh, you know, how, how they guard and, uh, you know, we, we look at things differently and, and see how I can attack in different ways and we'll see what my teammates can do, to, you know, to make sure that uh, everything is balanced out on the court and uh, we'll do everything the right way, you know, you know those are the things we have to do. Thanks. Hey Frank, what is it about the Terps maybe that makes them makes them really dangerous? Um, they're, they're a good overall team, you know. They got all the pieces, you know. They, they have a good center over there, and uh, they have good guard play, you know, good coaching staff, and um, you know, it's just a great tradition, a traditional program over there. So, you know, it's good overall. How well did you know Demonte? He kind of met you guys, I guess, were roommates for a year and have kept in touch since you guys played in high school. Yeah, you know, we played prep school together. Um, you know, that was my roommate. Um, we keep in touch now. Um, we text a little bit, we FaceTime sometimes, so we pretty much uh, talk sometimes, you know, not a lot, but well, we keep in touch. Quite a run, obviously this, this thing has continued. When, when you were 5-3 and three in Big 12 play, any, any dream that you'd be on this run to this point, to the Sweet 16? Yeah, well, we always picture ourselves in this position, and we always had confidence, you know, that we'll be here in this position, so, you know, now it's just... We have to keep doing what we've been doing to get us here at this point and, uh, you know, 